What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another video for you guys today. Now guys, today we're going to be going over how to farm a crap ton of blood, how to farm a crap ton of hide and feathers and all the sort of stuff that you need in the Primal Fear mod. Now guys, as you know, through Primal Fear you need, well since they've changed it, you need bloods, you need hide to make the saddles and you need like feathers and stuff like that to make the kibbles. Like we're coming to the kibbles here and you can see that there is a lot of stuff that you need for these. So we won't be going over how to farm the eggs right now. You guys should know how to do that. Pretty much all you need is a pair or females and they'll pop the eggs out. Elementals are really good. They just produce eggs like crazy. But you can see here you need feathers as well as needing the blood and the eggs. Now on the lower stages of kibble, it doesn't really cost too much, but when you get to the demonic and the celestial and stuff like that, you will start needing a lot. So you can see that you need 10 fabled blood. Now fabled blood is pretty rare because fabled creatures spawn rarely on the map. We have quite a bit of it because we've been killing quite a few fabled creatures, but this video is going to be showing you guys how to do it a lot easier. So inside of here guys, this is our kill pen. So what we actually have at the moment, we've got two Apex Ravagers and we've got two Ice Feather Flights. Now, you can do this with literally any of the creatures that you'd like. Um, it's all just depending on what you're sort of after. At the moment, we were after um, some of the Ice Feathers. But if you are after like any of the other feathers, like if you tame up two griffins, two light griffins or two dark griffins, whenever you kill those, you get a whole bunch of all the feathers. So I definitely replace out the normal elementals with the light or the dark ones. We just at the moment don't have a breeding pair of them and we are on our playthrough world. So we, we don't really want to spawn them in for the purpose of this video. But guys, you can see here we've got Apex Ravagers. We then are planning on getting some alphas as well as some fabled. We recently tamed up two fabled woolly rhinos without realizing that they're actually males, but they were originally going to be for this kill pen as well. Now, we've currently got air conditions set up underneath here. You can see them over there. But what you can actually do is you can build this on a second level and put air conditioners underneath the ceilings, and that way you can have your tame set up anywhere you want. But this is a pretty easy way to do so. So pretty much when the feather flights um, are finished mating, the egg pops out, the air conditioners incubated. You can set these air conditioners the whole way along here. Set it the whole way along. Section off as much space as you want for this area. And you can see that you actually get the babies out and about and they are wandering around. Now, at this stage you can do a couple of things. You can imprint on them and set them to passive, unclaim them, then kill them. Or you can just do what I'm about to show you and just munch on them. Now, you want something with the highest melee damage. Now, you will be playing this mod, um, so you will obviously have something that will hit really hard. We, at the moment, I think our Wyvern is our strongest hitting dude at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our Wyvern into the kill pen and we're going to munch on these. Now, you'll see that the babies in the pen will start freaking out. But the best bet is to wait for these guys to mature because as they mature, they gain more hide, I guess you could say. They they produce more hide and more blood. You saw there that we only we killed that Reaper uh, Ravager baby, and we only got three hide from him. So you definitely want to make sure that you wait for them to mature before you kill them, because that will provide you with the maximum amount of bloods and feathers and hide. So you can see here we've got a bunch of feather flights underneath us and a fully grown Ravager. We're going to munch on them, kill them straight up. And you can see that just from that we've got no, uh, 54 ice feathers as well as a bunch of hide and some blood. Now, like I said, make sure that you let them raise up because you will be uh, allowing yourself to collect more. As well as that, if you do do it with larger creatures, so for example, the woolly rhinos, you will actually get more hide and blood. I've just decided to go with the ice for the flights and the apex ravages. One, because ravages are cool and they're just pretty small and they don't take up too much space around our base. So guys, that's really all there is for this. Now, what you can also do is boost these ranks by just producing um, females by producing fertilized eggs and keeping some of the females as like your your breeders So obviously they just continue to pop out eggs and then that way you've got like four baby feather flights coming out at once Same goes for the ravages. It's all up to you guys This is just a quick way to do it and it's a very surefire way to go about it Now what you can also do if you don't want to do it like that you can actually set it up to be autonomous So what we actually did was we had this guy wandering around on aggressive and he would just eat the babies as soon as they hatched or as soon as they dropped out of the mama's pouch. But we actually turned him off so that the babies could mature and produce more blood and hide and feathers and stuff like that. So you can do that and there is an easier way instead for them not having to 
strike back if you don't have something that can one-shot them or two-shot them, and that is just to claim them, set them to passive, and then unclaim them, and then kill them. That's, that's really all there is to it, guys. It's a really easy method to farm up a lot of blood, a lot of hide, and a lot of feathers. So if you are looking for a way to do that, this is the way, guys, if you're playing on the Primal Fear mod. But guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. A little bit of a short one for you. Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one. And I got this song.